We do begin tonight, though, with some grim news for our area. Mm. Idaho has now started transitioning into crisis standards of care. As a result, all elective surgeries are now being postponed. This comes as doctors say resources are being stretched to their limits. Kootenai Health's chief of staff says the hospital is now caring for the largest number of COVID-19 patients it's handled since this pandemic began. Tonight, our Mark Hanrahan is live in Kootenai County with in-depth coverage. And Mark, what do you know about help that is now coming to North Idaho? Yeah, good evening, Tom and Whitney. What we know is that 20 member team from the defense defense department is here at Kootenai Health right now, helping the doctors and nurses in the ICU as they continue to deal with that flood of COVID patients here. The state requested the team. They'll be on site for at least five weeks, we're told, and they arrived here just a few days ago. So of the personnel being provided, there are 14 nurses, four doctors and two respiratory therapists. They're at Kootenai Health to support the staff amid, as you guys mentioned, that crisis standards of care. We were delighted to see that, uh, that the, the standard of care was, was exceptional for the patients admitted at this hospital. Um, despite the sort of unprecedentedly large volumes of patients currently being cared for, um, the, the staff, the nurses, the physicians have been able to rise to the challenge and, uh, and, and, and fight the good fight. Um, we're also incredibly fortunate to be able to be here and provide some, some much needed offloading of that stress on this local system. In the past year and a half, Kootenai Health has not once shut down their COVID-19 unit. According to Kootenai Health Chief of Staff Dr. Robert Scoggins, the hospital never got to a place where they were able to discharge the last COVID patients. Kootenai Health has maintained between three to five ICU COVID patients, and today there are around 40 patients in the ICU. This is in addition to non-COVID patients who also need to be treated in the ICU. So having the members from the DOD here is helping to relieve some stress for doctors and nurses. It's been incredible from our standpoint because of how fast they've been able to integrate into our hospital uh, and get up and running. Meantime, leaders at Kootenai Health are concerned about what is going to unfold in the next coming days and weeks ahead. Uh, as we mentioned yesterday, school just resumed here in Coeur d'Alene. There is no mask mandate for students in the classroom here, no vaccine requirement for teachers either. Doctors here, I can tell you, they're concerned about that, and that may lead to even more patients. That's a big concern tonight. My colleague Amanda Rowley joining me here right now. The hospital, Kootenai Health specifically, held an update on their overflow space they have for COVID patients. It's in this building behind us here, the Health Resources Center. So what is the latest with the Health Resources Center. Are they concerned they may see too many patients for that too? Well, it's kind of a hurry up and wait situation. Today, they say there are 22 total beds in the center available for COVID patients. As of today, there are 11 people using those beds. Now, the Kootenai Health says, as we mentioned, they have 115 total COVID patients. At the beginning of August, that number was 68. Now, they say their biggest limitation right now is the number of staff to cover the surge in COVID patients and maintain care for non-COVID patients. Now, the potential need, though, for a field hospital depends on if the overflow beds reach max capacity. The hospital's chief regional operations officer says if it comes to that, they will rely on additional community support. When those beds fill up, hopefully they won't, right? But if they do, we will continue to work within the community with the Kootenai County Operations uh, of Emergency Management, other local hospitals, home health, skilled nursing facilities to do our best to discharge and manage patient care as best we can. If there is a need for continued field hospital resources, that becomes a tougher challenge because again, we don't have the staff and the beds to do so. So it will be a community effort if we need to go beyond the, uh, the health resource center. Now, Jeremy Evans says the hospital has 550 open positions at Kootenai Health right now. So 240 of those positions are clinical caregivers that they desperately need help with the surge of COVID patients. Now, as for COVID testing, we also asked about where they're at with COVID testing here on campus, that the drive through option for testing at Kootenai Health is still available. I'm told even though they are seeing a high volume of tests, they are still able to get those results back as little as 48 to 24 hours. Just driving up here today, Amanda, I saw the drive through testing kind of behind where mm -hmm. we're at right now. A lot of folks in the line even at yeah. this hour. My goodness. All right, Amanda, thank you. Look, we understand this is a lot of information we just threw at you in a short amount of time. So for the very latest on the crisis standards of care activation here at Kootenai Health and everything else COVID related here in North Idaho, just text us the word COVID to 509-448-5555.
2000 and we'll send that information directly to your phone. She's Amanda Rowley. I'm Mark Handrahan. That's the latest from Kootenai Health tonight. Now back to you.